Okay, so what I want to do is I want to back up a little bit because you've just said a chunk of information that a lot of people may go, whoa, wow, what is this guy saying? I mean, because you've just said so much, and so I want to break it down. So when I work with clients and I talk about setting their intuitive goals, their soul's purpose goals, how do they know when they're on their intuitive goal, soul track? How do they know when they're off of it? And you mm. just speak about intentions, right. okay? It's the same thing. And it, I also talk about the detail because as detailed as, uh, I, I say that the more detail we can be about what it is that we're creating, it makes the universe not guess what right. to bring us. But, but the details about the outcome should only be the details you're focusing on. How that comes about, you have to loosen up your beliefs, you have to loosen up your rigidity, you have to loosen up your mind to an outcome that you haven't even thought about yet. Because if you've thought about it, right. it should have already happened, right? Right. So there's got to be this, this way in which we are open to possibilities that we're not really, um, we haven't entertained. If we don't do that, then we're forcing the square peg into the round hole, and people find themselves chasing their tail, and there's no but change. But let me ask you, though, because a lot of people don't even know how to set goals. Now, we may have two different ways of guiding people in setting goals. Like, mm -hmm. I'm sure the way I coach people and consult people with how to set their goals is going to be different mm -hmm. from yours. So I'm going to be curious to hear how you do, because what I do is, is I have everybody say, I see myself. Mm -hmm. I see myself in 10 different areas, mental, physical, spiritual, career, financial, fun, education, material, relationships, relationships and contribution. Holy smokes, that's I know, a lot. I'm <laughs> yeah, I, well, it's covering all bases. Right. Of our, you know, every area of our life, we want to make sure that we're having a, a focus, so to speak, in all those areas, even if it's just one goal. Let's everybody's, you know, New Year's resolutions, right? And here we are at the beginning of February, and I'm sure many resolutions have fallen by the wayside. And I lectured today, earlier today, on why New Year's resolutions follow by, follow, you know, go by the wayside and why people don't accomplish them. And I wanted to really teach people how to set intuitive goals that really um, inspire them into action. Mm -hmm. So for you, when you're, let's say if you're coaching somebody, you're consulting with somebody, you know, you're not coaching, but consulting with people on setting their intentions, mm -hmm. how do you help somebody get clear on their intention? Hmm. Well, it's really simple. Um, I ask them what their purpose is in life. But what happens if they don't know? Oh, they do know. What happens, no, hang on, because what happens if a person really doesn't know? Because there are people that I will meet with, and they're in such transition, and they have no idea. How would you guide somebody to listen to their intuition and to hear that voice? Because we do know, you're mm -hmm. right, I agree with you. But let's say someone's really... Um, uh, really in the midst of a lot of change in their life. Let's mm -hmm. say they've had a lot of upheaval, a lot, of, a lot of things happening in their life, and they really don't know what mm -hmm. to do. How would you help that person? Well, they need some information. They really need, they need to get some knowledge and some information. But uh, okay. let me just, you talked about soul-directed goals. Yes. And then, you know, uh, that's my definition of what a purpose is in life. Now, everybody's purpose is, you know, we secretly all believe in ourselves that we can do a better job in life. We believe in our potential. Everybody does. They secretly do that. We talk ourselves out of greatness every single day because mm. we're running old programs and old tracks in our brain, and, and we believe that those thoughts are real, but in fact, those are some emotions that are attached to some neural network that keeps us thinking the same way and acting the same way and really expecting a different result.